Hey folks, this is Vince with Ad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly review the United States Civilization in Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition. Whew, it's a mouthful. You can find this particular DLC on Steam for about $5. However, there is an in-game 50 states challenge, and it's for a limited time. If you complete all 50 challenges for all 50 states, then you'll get this DLC for free. I don't know how doable it is. Um, I saw that I already owned the United States Civilization. I'm guessing I got a press copy and that included that particular key with it. So um, I got lucky there, but if you want to buy the game for yourself, like I said, it's like five bucks, but you do need the core game, the definitive edition, in order to uh, play this particular faction. So what does this particular faction offer? Well, first of all, one thing I noticed right away, whenever you click on a settler to do something and you right click, say the forest or a berry bush, it'll say gatherer or lumberjack. Like, you actually can understand what they're saying now. Uh, before, in other factions, they would say commandment, or, you know, something like that, and you're like, okay, it's shiverish. You're, you're speaking simlish, or some some uh, language I'm not familiar with. Well, right away I noticed, hey, it's English, I recognize this now, yay, go America. So, there, there's that, uh, that's good. Another cool thing about them is that um, they don't level up like other factions. I mean, they kind of do. Um, they still have those ages, like one, two, three, four, five. But whenever you spend the resources ne necessary to actually level up, you choose one of five states. And you'll get bonuses for them, but you also unlock new cards that are unique to them, and they can be sent one time. So, for example, I mean, when you're building your deck, You've got your age one, age two, age three, age four cards, and so on, right? Well, whenever you pick a state, whenever you level up to the next age, it comes with like two unique cards or something like that. And you have to spend your points in order to um, ship these cards from the home city. So that's kind of cool. I, I like the, the idea of getting more unique cards as you continue playing. That, that's really cool touch. Um, the cards themselves and the deck builder are pretty diverse. Based on what I've played so far, um, they seem to be very gold heavy and they seem to be very uh, ranged heavy, um, although they do have some melee units too. Um, you do get a sheriff, which is your leader. Um, the sheriff has this one time attack for treasure guardians similar to that of other factions where you click on the ability, you click on a treasure garden, insta kill. Like there's that. Um, but there's also upgrades for them like you would expect. Um, I'm just going to quickly run through some of the cards in the deck builder because I think that's why you would want to purchase this particular faction, like just to know what's in this faction. Uh, one thing that I noticed right away in the age one uh, set of cards, there's capitalism. For the rest of the game, a small trickle of coin enriches you, so you get coin right away. That's why I said this, this particular faction is pretty gold heavy. There's also Irish immigrants which delivers two settlers and two additional settlers for every five minutes of game time passed up to 30 minutes. So you're getting a steady supply of immigrants over time. Just a small trickle, though. You can get a bunch of different immigrant cards, actually. There's, like, Dutch immigrants where it'll ship a bank to you, and then you just earn money over time, gold over time, which is kind of cool. Spanish immigrants will ship uh, an outpost wagon. It boosts XP income. Uh, among other things, um, there are some other cards that I didn't take in my deck, like there's French Immigrants, improves your settlers in combat and delivers a number of particularly powerful, uh, whatever that is, uh, some kind of unit. Um, German Immigrants settle down in Germantown, causing each existing and newly constructed mill to spawn one settler wagon. In the industrial age, you can recruit settler wagons from mills as well. So, like, you can, with, with this particular faction, you can call upon different faction cards that do different things. And that that's really neat. Um, Chinese immigrants. Um, what else we have? There are crates of food and uh, wood and chests, the repeatable uh, coin. There's that. There's balloons, sheep that you can get. Standard stuff. Um, but those are the ones that stood out, like the different immigrant cards. Um, other than that, like the other stuff was pretty standard. You know, villages gather wood faster and so on. And then in the second age, uh, you've got more chests of wood, gold, and food. Um, surgeons, there's that. You can improve your sheriff. That's when, And you also start getting into like shipments for regulars. Regulars are a type of military unit. Heavy ranged infantry with greater range than other musketeers armed with a bayonet to beat cavalry. 
Uh, eight state militia skirmisher with low range that sacrifices attack for hit points. Gains additional hit points in groups. That's interesting. You can take a long rifles upgrade. Um, there's spies. There's an agent's upgrade for said spies. Washington lumber mills ships 400 wood. Villagers gather wood faster. Um, there's some boats that you can get. Naval gunners. Um, a dance hall. Upgrade saloons to dance halls, which have Ronin and outlaw type units cost less population. Um, you can also focus on, say, the like um, the Native uh, American Indian stuff if you want to. Uh, it's just very diverse in what you can do with this particular faction. Third Age, you can get the Russian American Company. Um, the company will send two blockhouse wagons and enables your villagers to gather food from huntable animals faster. Um, you can send the United States Army card, increases the attack and hit points of heavy infantry, Minutemen, and United States General, which is nice. There are sharpshooters that are introduced. Sharpshooters uh, have a long-ranged attack but low hit points, and then it gains extra range per upgrade. Good against infantry. 54th Massachusetts Volunteers. Um, it's It'll ship five state militia, four regulars, and researches their veteran upgrades. Gatling guns. You can send Gatling guns in this game. Continental Rangers will increase the hit points and attack of ranged infantry and different things like that. Um, you can send rockets at some point. Uh, Pulaski's Legion ships a number of powerful Ulans, is it? Um, your sheriff also can build forts as opposed to just uh, regular outposts, which is cool. It just, again, there's a diverse set of cards. I don't want to read all this off to you. But there's a lot here. So I would really recommend this particular faction. Um, you can also customize their own town, which is nice. Um, and again, how they typically play. I mean, when you're playing this game, no matter what faction you are, you've got the standard build. You've got a barracks. You've got a stables. You've got a marketplace. You've got to build houses. That was all the same. It's just what was really unique to the United States faction was the cards that they had, the diversity of those cards, um, and the way they leveled up, the ability to choose different states and then unlock new cards for you to send. Um, but yeah, other than that, like it played like any other faction other than those two things. Um, but yeah, I still recommend this one. Like I said, it's five bucks if you want to pick it up for yourself. You may already have it, depending on what promotion you got. But again, if you don't own it, there is that 50 states challenge. So you can try that out. I don't know if it's doable, but it's there. You can try it out. And if you complete all the challenges, you'll get the DLC for free. From my understanding, the game also comes, uh, this particular DLC comes with other um, extras. Like there's uh, new home cities, uh, nine units, two buildings, um, and home city shipment cards specific to the United States. Um, I'm just reading off of the Steam store page at this point. So yeah, I recommend this one definitely. Um, it's, I mean, I like Age of Empires 3 to begin with, but um, I, I haven't seen a new faction for a very, 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 very long time. You know, I, I grew up with, you know, the original factions and then the Native American ones came out and then the Asian dynasties came out. And I'm like, and that was it. I, I have not seen any new faction since and it's really cool that after all of this time that they're releasing new civilizations for this game it's just it's unreal so yeah check this out definitely worth the purchase if you don't own it or at least try the try the challenge first to see if you're up to it if you guys haven't already subscribed to me on twitch and youtube that way you can stay up to date with any new content i open to publish this is vince thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time